I'm Jeff Stieber, Intense Cycles, Temecula, California. We're here at the Intense Cycles factory, and um, we've been around since the turn of the century, 1990, got started doing this. Um, as a brand, we've got a rich racing heritage that goes way back, and um, now we're a little bit more focused on the future and what's happening now and in the next few years is pretty exciting. So come on in, check it out. This is our showroom um, and um, there's a lot of new stuff and a lot of old stuff here. So we, we do like to put some of our heritage that goes back to the early days of Intense and Racing um, on display here. Um, up here, a very iconic Intense frame. You can see up there Sean Palmer's um, Intense M1 that he won the silver medal at the um, 1996 World Championships in Cairns, Australia. Probably the world's most famous second place bike. Um, and then, you know, you can see bikes from the likes of Chris Kavarik and many different racers over the years. There's also a lot of the very early prototype frames that were built um, handmade in the early years of Intense. A very iconic um, frame there with the M1. And um, you can kind of walk around the shop and see these bikes on display and follow the progression of the design through the years. Um, very polarizing to that is the current M29 full carbon race machine here. Um, and you know, you can look at the two and you still see some um, aesthetic likeness that's going on there. But um, a lot of branding in here. Um, we're very proud of our authentic roots and our heritage. So we like to um, put it out front and center here and, and we're proud of it. Um, one of the things that really um, I like to focus on and, and that makes in, Intense very different is um, we have a philosophy that it's really it's all about the frame um, because the frame is the one thing that really differentiates our bike. Um, in you know, a lot of manufacturers we actually um, spec the bike and hang kind of the same components and things on our bike but the heart and soul of the, of the bike is the frame set and we kind of showcase that here. Um, we do do all the prototyping. I hand make all the uh, aluminum test mills and prototypes um, actually uh, still to this date in the R&D shop which we'll look at shortly. Um, and it's a pretty exciting part of the process because um, all these beautiful carbon bikes actually start as aluminum test mills and prototypes um, to work out all the bugs, the geometry, kinematics, the aesthetic of the bike. So you can see here um, from this era, this is one of the early um, M29 alloy test mules that was raced. This particular one was raced by uh, Jack Moyer on the Intense Factory Racing Program in 2017. He actually, in his first race on that bike, he took a second place at the Fort William World Cup. And eventually that evolved into the current M29. And um, you can see some similarities in the aesthetics, but more so in the way the suspension is laid out, kinematics, things like that. Um, we're gonna move um, a little further back here to the, um, to the shop area. Yeah, so this, this area here is um, the shop assembly area. Now, if I would say four or five years ago, if you came in through this door, this whole area was our aluminum manufacturing where we did 100% of the manufacturing of our aluminum frames. So you would have seen um, 12 CNC machines, three CNC lays, six welders welding away, a heat treat oven, the whole process to create to manufacture high-end aluminum frames. Um, as the shift from high-end mountain bikes went from aluminum to carbon fiber, um, it became more, it became harder and harder to keep that process going. And so um, eventually it evolved into the space we have today um, as we developed our carbon line of products, that sort of thing. Um, this is more an area for um, a, a s assembly, um, warehousing, R&D, and that sort of thing. These bikes you see hanging on these racks is all part of our demo fleet that's constantly being uh, rotated. Um, we have three Sprinter vans out on the road with um, actual factory reps that work different regions and they all have a full quiver of, um, of demo bikes also. Um, and in the last several, ye several years, the, uh, with the, the um, bringing on the Taser e-bike, um, that's a huge part of our demos 
because um, a lot of people are interested in um, checking out e-bikes, they've never ridden them before, that sort of thing, so it's a first time experience. The demo program is really important for that. And we're going to head into our race shop, so we have our um, the IFR kind of our race shop uh, situated here in the factory. Um, as you know, um, Aaron Gwynn and John Hall uh, both live in the area, basically, so they spend quite a bit of time here. Um, especially in the off season with prepping bikes, that sort of thing, in between races. Um, and in, as we walk in here, you'll see lots of iconic race frames from over the years that are on display. Um, you know, these are all from the um, early to mid 90s, I would say, um, when downhill racing kind of is a, the pinnacle there. Really proud to have been part of that. Um, this is one of Aaron's race bikes right here. Um, this is actually a prototype bike that he raced at the end of last season um, at the World Championships and the World Cup Finals. It's a uh, prototype 279 or a staggered wheel bike. It actually has a carbon front and an alloy rear. Um, right next to the race shop, we have the R&D area. Again, some more iconic frames here. I believe this was Eric Carter's frame from um, when he was on Mongoose, um, and um, that was custom built for him. Toby Henderson, uh, Iron Horse, late 90s on that one. So this area here at R&D, um, still to this day I build all the alloy prototypes in here. And you can see there's a lot more of a manual machinery for doing kind of one-off bikes, um, laying up um, alloy test mules. You'll see a variety of different um, prototypes and different stages around here. Um, again, so some really interesting pieces here for some alloy prototypes. Um, these will be crafted into complete bikes, front triangle, that sort of thing. Um, I've got a series of different types of jigs that I use to, um, to tack and weld the frames. Um, usually on these alley prototypes, once I get all the pieces together, I can tack and weld and get a frame pretty much assembled and done in one day. Um, so pretty efficient at that sort of thing. So we do make lots of alley prototypes. Um, Sometimes we'll, it'll take us two or three prototypes to get a bike to where we want it, and sometimes it takes eight. Um, so it's, it's very different. Um, you'll see over here by the welder, different uh, jigs I use for fabricating frames. There's a lot of prototypes, in different stages around this area. Um, but yeah, this is kind of um, my playground, so to say. And, um, you know, on a busy week, I'll make one or two prototypes, you know, and sometimes, um, you know, depending on what time of year it is in, in the development cycle, we can be pretty prolific with, with making test frames and that sort of thing. Always experimenting, trying different things. So down here, Chris, this is the engineering up here. Um, Chris Newton here, he's working on some projects. So. Um, we're used to seeing this, you know, as we're um, modeling a bike into um, 3D um, to be made carbon fiber. That whole process, 3D modeling and, and the engineering process behind it. This is my office. <laughs> Don't spend a whole lot of time in here. Morning usually, and then I'm down in the shop. Very early on, um, you know, we're talking 1990 when I made my first full suspension bike era, um, downhillers were basically riding on um, hardtails, maybe a suspension fork. Um, so early on, uh, the downhillers adapted, you know, my first bike design, which was a three inch travel front and rear, you know, full suspension design, the Spider. And so it kind of thrust me into that, you know, tip of the spear downhill racing scene. And, you know, that was probably a blessing because within mountain biking and through that era, um, that was where the excitement was, you know, extreme sports were the thing, downhill racing brought, you know, um, cutting edge technology, the characters were there and the racers. 
Um, and so, you know, Intense fit in really well as a brand and as an innovator through that era. And so, in, in reality, those um, rich early years and which really that heritage is all evolves around racing, we still embody that today. Um, you know, our, we have a saying, racing is our true north, and that's really, um, you know, our products to this day are race inspired. Um, whether it's um, our dedicated full-on downhill rig or the Sniper XC, um, it all um, permeates from that racing mentality. Here, follow us at mbaction.com or on any of your favorite social media outlets. Don't want to miss out on any of the action, do ya? Well, check out these videos and make sure to hit subscribe.